What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. My name is Greg Wave. I wanted to tell you guys about a pretty monster weekend I had recently. Um, it was uh, it was a long weekend, but it was so so worth it. It I really needed it myself, and it it was super clutch. It's a great story, but it's really cool. But I made eight hundred and fifty dollars in a weekend just working Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I wanted to tell you guys about this because this is pretty killer. I mean, that's like, I mean, probably the most comparable type of thing would be like a nurse's job and salary. They generally work three twelves in a week. And I would say from what I've heard, make close to that if they've been working for a few years, you know? So um, but yeah, eight fifty in a weekend. I mean, you're telling me that you could get four days off every week and make eight, eight to nine hundred dollars in a weekend. I could have easily made nine hundred plus too if I'd pushed it. But um, on Saturday, in particularly, I didn't push it. So I want to tell you guys this whole story and show you how you can do the same thing. I really believe this is a pretty duplicable process if you live in the right cities. But. Um, yeah, so before we get started, I wanted to tell you guys about GetUpside. GetUpside is a really sick app for getting cheap gas. The very first time you use it, 25 cents off per gallon. Um, and then they've got some incredible benefits and stuff you need to look into. So check out the link in the description for GetUpside, the Uber driver's dream gas app, pretty much. But let's get started. So I... Um, I ran into a little bit of a financially tough season. This this was just last weekend that I had this um, this weekend. And the week before that, I'd had some business stuff that didn't go well. And I found myself really short on money and rent was coming up. And I have to pay rent on the third of every month. And I was just like, oh boy, like I totaled it up and I basically had four days to make rent. So I had, I mean, I wasn't like completely broke. I had like, I think 350 bucks in my bank account. My rent's like 1100 ish, give or take. So I basically had to make like 750 give or, give or take, but somewhere, somewhere around like 720 to like 770. Right. Um, and I'm going to, by the way, I'm going to show the screenshots of all this. So you guys know that I did this. So on Friday, I went grind mode. Um, I'll put these up just whenever. But on Friday, I went grind mode. I, I pushed. I was running Lyft and Uber, so I, I don't honestly know how much I worked. But I know I started at about 10 a.m. that morning, and I finished at 3 a.m. So, I mean like 16 hours. <laughs> so you keep on, I put in a 16 hour shift on Friday. Now, for those of you that don't know, the only reason I'm able to do that is because I did a bunch of hours on Lyft. And so that took away from my drive time on Uber. So made 90 bucks on Lyft that day. Uh, this is the only day I actually did any Lyft driving. And I honestly wished I hadn't done any Lyft driving because the reason that uh, I was able to make this work is I had a $150 quest on Uber. I just had to give 60 rides. Now, 60 rides is a lot because you do two rides an hour on average. So you're thinking if you've got to do 20 rides on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to hit 60 in a weekend, you've got to basically be doing 10 hours minimum each of those days. Now, I know where to give short rides, so and I'll get to that. So Friday... Obviously, on Friday, I did 90 on Uber, and then I did, I did obviously close to three, or, no, I did 90 on Lyft, and I did close to 300 on Uber, as you guys can see. So I, I finished that day with cash tips at almost $400, which is pretty nuts for just one night. Maybe I should do a video on my $400 night. Um, well, a night wouldn't really be fair. It'd be my $400, 16 hour shift. <laughs> so, uh, obviously a good start. So now just for you, those of you that do are doing the math, I'm close to like, I I've got like seven fifty in my bank account now. So when you think about it, just from that one day, I'm not far off. I only need to make like another 300 bucks to pay my rent. 
So on Saturday I go out, but here's the problem. This is why you don't do these 16 hour days. I was drained and I slept in, I let myself sleep in and stuff, but I still was just drained from doing that all day the day before. So on Friday, I only put in like a seven hour shift. I didn't do any lift. I, and or on Saturday, my God, guys, I'm mixing up all my days and times. Saturday. So I put in like a six, seven hour shift. And the reason why I, I, I obviously you guys can see the online time and stuff. The reason why I don't always do that is a lot of times like that day I did run lift a lot. I just didn't, uh, do an, I didn't do any ride. I think I did just like three rides. So the online time, if I'm adding both online times together is a little bit flawed. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm just saying loosely, but uh, about six, six and a half, seven hours. I only made one thirty. I actually, part of the reason I went home is it felt like a really slow Saturday. So I made one thirty, but I gave some rides and that was the main thing. So now this is where, this is where this story gets just really crazy. So going into Sunday, I've got to give 26 rides <laughs> and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I thought there wasn't a chance I was going to hit this. I was like 26 rides. So what I planned on doing was I had 60 rides for $150 or 50 rides for a hundred. So my plan was 16 rides and I'll hit that first bonus of a hundred dollars. And that should be what I need. Cause I'm like 16 rides. I'm guessing that that's going to take eight hours. Eight hours should make me $160. Um, but then I was like, I'll probably hit some surges in there and, and increase that a little bit. Well, what ends up happening is I'm below pace the whole day. I started 11 a.m. on Sunday. I'm just, I, I'm driving mostly in areas where I give quick rides. So I was averaging three rides per hour that day, which is probably the only reason I hit the higher bonus. What happened is though, I'm giving all these short, crappy rides. Like I'm staying near college towns and stuff. I'm like six hours in and I look and I've made 80 bucks. And I was like, oh no. I was like, I'm way behind pace. Like I should have made 120 at that point. So what I realized is that I was going to have to go for that bigger bonus no matter what. Because I wouldn't have the, enough of an instant deposit to pay my rent. So... I'm working, 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 and it's like going well. Here and there, I get like a decent ride. So I'm trying to just keep those numbers up. So what happens is it's 11 p.m. I've been working since 11 a.m. And <laughs> I, um, I have two rides left to give. Now, two rides in an hour, that's like the average. So I'm thinking, okay, this is doable, but I know it's gonna be still pretty tough because it's Sunday night, who's out and about for one. And for two, like I have an hour to give. So if it takes, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, if it takes 20 minutes for me to get that first ride and it's a 30 minute ride, I won't hit it because then I'd be dropping off the first ride at like 11.55. Now I have Google, uh, Google. Oh my God, I can't talk today. I have Uber gold rewards. <laughs> Platinum to be specific. And so I, I have the little bonus where I can see where my Uber and Lyft ride, well, not Lyft, my, where my Uber rides are going before I accept them. So I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, okay, if I give, or if I get a ride request that's more than 15 minutes, I have to decline it because I, I need to have the guarantee that I'll have as much time as possible. So I'm waiting, I'm not getting a ride. I'm like, like hauling towards the closest, like Scottsdale, I'm in Phoenix. Scottsdale is like the closest, busier area. And even that can be a gamble on a Sunday night at that hour. So I'm just like hoping it works out. Well, I end up getting a ride. I get my first ride at like 1122 and it's a seven minute ride. So I'm like, perfect. Three minutes to pick them up pick them up at 11, uh, 1125, I think. And I drop them off at 1133 PM. So I've got 27 minutes to give one ride to get a $150 bonus to, and I need that $150 bonus to pay my rent, which was due at midnight on Sunday. So not only do I have 27 minutes to get that one ride, I have 27 minutes to pay my rent or I get a cancellation fee and it goes on my rental history, which I really am like not wanting to do. 
So I'm, I'm again, I'm driving straight back towards the downtown area. I get a run request at, it was 1135-ish, give or take. Yes, yes, it was 1135. It's 1135, 1135, 1136. It's five, it's five minutes, six minutes away. And so in my head, I'm like, I'm going to get there at like 1141, 1142-ish. So I go there, I'm driving. And when I'm like two minutes away, he said, be right there all the way in the back. I just need a few minutes. And I'm like, F, dude, I don't have a few minutes. Now, one thing I've learned with people is that if you don't reply to messages like that, it usually makes them hurry because they think you're going to cancel. So I didn't reply because I was like, I want him down here as fast as possible. So he was actually really good about it, but his complex was really long. So by the time I pick him up, it's like 1144 and it's a seven minute drive. So I'm adding it up in my head and I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be like 1151, 1152 when I drop him off. Well, his complex takes so long. I drop him off at 11:53. I instant deposit the money and the bonus. And <laughs> I paid right at 11:57. Didn't get 11:57 p.m. Didn't get it. Didn't get a penalty. And um, and not only that, it was kind of a funny scenario because I only needed like an extra 20 bucks to pay my rent. So I paid my rent, and then I started my day with like an extra 130 dollars. But I wouldn't have gotten that extra 20 from the rides. I had to hit the bonus to get that extra 20 bucks. Um, so I, I went back and looked it all up with my cash tips and everything, and I made about 850. And I thought that was really incredible. For one, just for a weekend, like the power in that, like you can like knowing you can make close to a grand in a weekend if you have to. Now, obviously, you would need a quest to do that, but um, even like so even if I didn't have the quest, you know, 600 isn't, or wait, 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 no, 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 700, 700 isn't bad for a weekend, you know, um, especially cause it was 35 hours was the hours I put in. So 35 hours for 700 bucks is really pretty decent actually. And 35 hours for 850 is really awesome. So Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm mainly just inspiration to know that you can go crush out a weekend if you have a quest and uh, really make some good money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you guys soon.